Hey guys, it's Lori. So I just wanted to come on and give you guys kind of a fitness update and tell you what I've been eating. Let's just kind of go through and show you what I, what kind of what we ate all week long. And I'll put pictures up of that too. I took pictures of everything. Honestly, that actually helps keep me on track knowing that I'm gonna be taking pictures of this stuff, so it better be good. So for fitness, coming out here and lifting, we've been doing really good coming out here. And we've been getting out here five days a week and actually six because on normally our, our rest days are Mondays and Thursdays. So on Monday, we came out here anyway and still did some cardio. I did um, some squat kicks and planks and I did a one minute plank. That might not sound like much, but it is. For me, it is. So there you go. <laughs> And then Thursday, we did take a rest day on Thursday. So other than that, the other five days when we're out here lifting, we lift heavy. And so we need a rest day, I think. So Well, we picked Thursday to be the rest day as opposed to any other day because that's a long work day for us both. And John was actually working a 12-hour shift and didn't even get home until like 7.30, 7.40 p.m. So it's like, yeah, let's just make that the rest day. So as for the weight... I am down 3.4 pounds, so I'm super happy about that. Uh, I didn't have any kind of like headaches or anything from cutting out all the sugars and the bad carbs and stuff that I was eating. I'm eating, eating about 20 to 30 grams of carbs a day right now, and honestly, I need to, I kind of looked over what I ate, and I thought, okay, I know what I need to make changes on. I need to definitely up my vegetable intake and lower my cheese intake because I'm eating a lot of cheese. So that's something I'm gonna concentrate on, lowering the cheese and upping the veggies. So I have pictures for you of just about everything. The only thing I didn't take pictures of was like kind of the on the go kind of stuff that I had. Like one day for lunch, I had a protein bar. I didn't take a picture of my protein bar. Uh, another day I had like, for a snack, I had a quarter cup of walnuts, just raw unsalted walnuts. I didn't take a picture of it. I didn't even think about it to be honest, but I'm not gonna take a picture of every single thing that goes into my mouth, but for the most part I am. For meals I am for sure, and snacks and stuff. But, uh, well I shouldn't say snacks, but more like lunches. Another thing I had was the one day I had some jerky. Um, another day, I mean a couple different times, a few different times actually I had string cheese. And I also had a block of the Swiss cheese that I was taking, you know, sliced that up and I ate some of that here and there too. I didn't take pictures of that either, but I'm telling you about it, so that's what matters. <laughs> I think you guys know what string cheese and beef jerky looks like, so. So for my evening snack, what I have is, what I've been having is cottage cheese. I like to have cottage cheese in the evenings because, well, I like it. <laughs> for one thing, I enjoy it. And for another thing, it's a slow digesting protein, so it's great to have before you go to bed and it's I guess if you look at the ingredients or not the ingredients but the macros on it it'll say that there's some sugars in it but it's not an added sugar if you check the ingredients you'll see that it's coming from the lactose in it and it's the protein in there is way higher than that sugar content so I guess that's a good thing I can't explain the science behind it, but the protein is like 13 grams compared to the sugars, which I don't even remember right now. I don't have cottage cheese out here in the weight room with me. It's actually a really good thing to have before bed. So I like the Daisy cottage cheese, and I know I've talked about this, I believe in a grocery haul before, but look at the ingredients on the Daisy cottage cheese. There's like three things in there. What is it, milk? Like I said, it's not out here with me. You can see it though, milk, cream, and salt, I believe. That's it. That's really good. I mean, we all know what those things are. That's what's in that cottage cheese. That's why I buy that kind. That's the only kind I know of that has only those ingredients. I'm sure there's probably different ones that do, but that's the only one I know of. The, like for instance, the Breakstones cottage cheese. That's a pretty good brand name. I just took a little screenshot of the ingredients from the Breakstones cottage cheese. That's a lot more than just the three ingredients that are in the Daisy. So I'm gonna pick the Daisy first. Even the Organic Valley, I took a picture of that one too. That, it's all organic ingredients, but who cares? I don't care, look how many there are. I don't even know what some of that stuff is, so I'd rather have the Daisy. I just thought I'd go on about that for a minute and just kind of point out the fact that you might wanna check your ingredients and not just the macros, but 
the ingredients too. I just got interrupted because my alarm went off for my supplements and it actually shut off my recording. <laughs> so yeah, I hope I got all the cottage cheese talk done before that happened. I think I did. So let's go ahead and look at some of the stuff I did take pictures of, which is mostly dinner stuff, stuff that we had for dinner. So Monday night we had stuffed peppers and I actually forgot to take a picture of it, believe it or not. <laughs> but I did take a picture of my peppers or it's actually a screenshot from a video, but anyways, that's beside the point. I did take a screenshot from another video of some stuffed peppers that I made before. So that's how I made them this time too, only with the different colored peppers. So that's what we had on Monday. On Tuesday, we had tostadas, and the kids actually ended up having some quesadillas, but John and I had these tostadas made with um, the shells. I got the idea from Alma at Keto Meets Menopause, and I'll put, a, I'll put a card up. If I don't put a card, I'll put a link down at the bottom for that video so you can see her make it. But it's the tostada with some ground beef, cheese, and it's got some hot sauce on it, and some avocado, and some shredded lettuce, a little bit of sour cream. And they were so, so good, really good. Wednesday, I made some chicken breast in the Instant Pot, and I did put some golden mushroom soup on top of that. You have to put the water in the bottom and then you can pour the golden mushroom soup on top of the chicken while it was cooking. But as you can kind of see at the chicken on my plate, I don't have any of that, the gravy stuff on my chicken. I just kind of pulled the chicken out and it, it was so watery by the time it was done that you know it wasn't a big deal to get no gravy on it anyways. You actually had to purposely put it on there if you wanted the gravy, which we didn't because it would probably be okay if we had a little bit of it, but I chose not to. It's, you know, just, the carbs and the ingredients in that soup, I thought it would be best not to. So that we had with some hot buttered green beans. One of my favorite side dishes is the hot buttered green beans, just love them. Thursday, we actually had leftovers. Everybody just had leftovers and John and I had tostadas again. Or actually, I don't think he did. I think he just ended up having a salad and I don't know what he had. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably lying to you. I know I had tostadas though. <laughs> Friday, I made smoked sausage and green beans. These are the thin, or maybe it's called fine, I don't know, the frozen green beans from Aldi. And they are so good. I love these green beans. And just some smoked sausage. I think it's Eckridge brand or whatever. I made extra smoked sausage so we could have that for the weekend because the plan for the weekend was just to have leftovers, which is pretty much what we did. So I also made some corn on the cob for the kids. That just about killed me, that looked so good. <laughs> A friend of mine brought that over. Actually, it was Brennan's girlfriend's mother gave that to us. She had been to Amish country and got a bunch of corn on the cob. So she shared with us, which was so nice of her. <laughs> it looks so good, but John and I didn't have any. So yeah, the kids were pretty happy though. I put a little bit of the garlic Parmesan, the B-dub sauce that I got from Costco. That was actually really good on that. And the macros are fine for us to have two tablespoons. So I have a few pictures of some other stuff for like lunches and snacks and stuff. I made over the weekend, I think it was yesterday, which would have been Saturday. I actually had a couple fried eggs for one of my meals. Another time throughout the week, I had a couple of the egg muffins, which have sausage. It has hot sausage and cheese in them. Celery with peanut butter is always a great snack for me. I love that. And it's, I use the Smucker's natural peanut butter. It doesn't have anything in it but peanuts and I believe it has salt in it too, but that's it. And you have to stir it. It has the oil on top. So that's how you pretty much know that it doesn't have added sugar. And of course the salami with the cream cheese rolled up. That is so good. So after I'm done lifting, I'm actually gonna go in and make, I still have some salami and cream cheese roll ups left. I'm actually, I had to make those again because everybody gobbled them down so fast. But anyways, I'm gonna make some with ham and cream cheese and a pickle and roll that up and then I slice that. I don't like those because I don't like pickles, but everybody else loves them, So and John can have them. So that'll be a nice thing. Then I'm gonna do some other food prep too when I'm done lifting and I will take photos of that and share it all with you next week. So that is it for now and Thank you so much for watching. I hope I gave somebody maybe some ideas or motivation, inspiration, whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> but I hope this video helps somebody. I know it helps me. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.